Response China. U.S. Navy gives a show of force in South China Sea. According to UP.com, the U.S. Navy continues its exercises in the Western Pacific Ocean despite the postponement of multinational maneuvers because of the COVID-19 pandemic. Independence-class Navy littoral combat ships patrolled the contested South China Sea this week, with the USS Montgomery and USNS Caesar Chavez arriving on May 7 in support of a Panamanian registered drill ship. The USS Gabrielle Giffords arrived on Tuesday, a Navy statement said. Last week the Air Force and Marines conducted training exercises near China amid increased tensions in the region, the site of competing maritime claims. In the nearby Philippine Sea, three submarines joined ships and aircraft of the U.S. 7th Fleet for a joint advanced war fighting training exercise. The actions are, in part, a show of force in an area of competing maritime claims, and a reaction to Chinese harassment of the ship drilling for resources in waters claimed by China, which the United States and other countries regard as international waters. In late April, three U.S. ships, the guided missile cruisers USS America and USS Bunker Hill, and the amphibious assault vessel USS Barry, joined the Royal Australian Navy frigate HMAS Parramatta and sailed together in the region to demonstrate a commitment to keeping the sea open. The versatility and flexibility of independence variant littoral combat ships rotationally deployed to Southeast Asia is a game-changer, said Rear ADM Fred Catcher, commander of Expeditionary Strike Group 7. Like Montgomery's previous operations, Gabrielle Gifford's operations near West Capella, the drill ship, demonstrate the depth of capability the U.S. Navy has available in the region. There is no better signal of our support for a free and open Indo-Pacific than positive and persistent U.S. naval engagement in this region. Vice ADM Bilmers, 7th Fleet Commander, said the United States will operate in South China Sea waters wherever international law permits.
routine presence operations, like Gabrielle Giffords, reaffirms the U.S. will continue to fly and sail freely, in accordance with international law and maritime norms, regardless of excessive claims or current events, said MERS. The U.S. supports the efforts of our allies and partners in the lawful pursuit of their economic interests. The Philippine Sea Exercise, from May 2 to 8, involved exercises in surface, subsurface, amphibious operations, reconnaissance and surveillance specialties. It concentrated on integrated exercises between submarines and surface vessels, to develop warfighting concepts, improve maritime lethality, and enable real-world proficiency and readiness, a 7th Fleet statement said last week. Meanwhile, according National Interest Org. For the second time in a month the U.S. Navy sent warships to patrol in the vicinity of a mineral rights dispute between Malaysia and China in the South China Sea. The United States Navy's 7th Fleet announced that last week the Independence Variant Littoral Combat Ship USS Montgomery, LCS-8, and the Lewis and Clark class dry cargo ship USNS Caesar Chavez, T-14, conducted presence operations in international waters and airspace near Panamanian flag drill ship, West Capella. Panamanian vessel was conducting surveying operations in Malaysia's exclusive economic zone for the Malaysian state oil company Petronas. It has been drawing attention from Chinese fishing vessels and Chinese Coast Guard ships for the past two months. Commercial satellite imagery confirmed that China Coast Guard CCG, ships continued to harass the rig and its supply vessels. In response, Malaysian Navy and law enforcement ships have been regularly patrolling the area, reported the Asia Maritime Transparency Initiative. A statement the U.S. Navy said that its presence was necessary to support transparency, the rule of law, freedom of navigation and oversight, which the Navy called the principles that underpin security and prosperity for the Indo-Pacific, so that all nations in the region may benefit. USS Montgomery's operations with the USNS Caesar Chavez highlight the flexibility and agility of our naval forces in this vital region, said Rear Admiral Fred Catcher, commander of the Expeditionary Strike Group 7. Our forces fly, sail and operate in the international waters of the South China Sea at our discretion and in accordance with maritime norms and international law, demonstrating the wide range of naval capability we have available in the Indo-Pacific.